In this video, in the series, The Blocks in Blockchain, we ask the question, what is the double spend problem? Reviewing the example, if Alice wants to pay Bob in a proof of work blockchain, Alice will disclose which block her value is recorded in. Once the block is identified, Bob can check the blockchain to see Alice is the owner of the value and check that Alice hasn't spent the value after that block was created. The miners in the network will receive Alice's and other people's transactions and then they will begin to solve the proof of work puzzle. until one of the miners solves the puzzle and creates the new block. The new block will be added to the blockchain with Bob as the new owner of the value. At the moment, this looks like everything is sound. However, what if Alice showed her value to Chloe before Bob's transaction was mined and added to the blockchain? Remember that this could be done deliberately or accidentally. But if it was done, another miner could create a block with Chloe's transaction and without Bob's transaction. And Chloe's block will be added as a fork to the blockchain with Bob's block. Effectively, there are now two paths to the blockchain. And there is a competition to see which fork becomes the longest chain accepted and adopted by the network. As the miners are in different parts of the network, they will see different versions of the blockchain and add their blocks to the chain that they believe will be the longest. Eventually, one of the longer chains will prevail, and in this case, it is Bob's block that was accepted by the network to the permanent and mutual record. If we consider the same scenario in a consensus-driven network, the votes decide which transaction is accepted into a block. In this case, it was Chloe's. However, it's important to point out that with both methodologies, both transactions could be rejected from the final immutable record. So, what are we to conclude from this? Well, both methodologies don't prevent double spends necessarily. They just ensure that either or neither are recorded in the final record. Double spends are allowed and do exist for a period of time. The selection of the included record is also arbitrary. The time or latency to include a selected record is also arbitrary. The latency is another problem to be discussed in another video, but what are our recommendations? A DLT solution has to prevent double spends at inception like banks do today. Also, a viable DLT solution has to process and settle transactions in near real time and not arbitrarily. So if you're interested in a viable DLT solution or want to contact us, go to l4score.com. Thank you.